is up, people? Welcome to the first video of 2024. Hope you guys had a great holiday weekend and uh, happy New Year's and all that jazz. Here comes Jay-Z. Hi, sir. Thanks, Jay-Z wants to be in a video today. This is the first video we made in the office. Thank you. As you can see, we got some things up here that are eventually going to get hung up. We got your down, sir. We got the old hood from the Mark 7, valve cover, intake, and then the, what you call it, engine cover from the, the Audi, the valve spring over here. I got some pistons uh, from the car I'm going to hang up, and then I have like, a bunch of pictures, like Sean from It's Not Stock, he uh, got a picture, a rolling shot of the Audi, um, and he got that printed and sent to me, and then girlfriend got one, I don't know if you guys remember from a while back there, I had a real nice one of the golf, and then I have like a sign poster from Home Mechanic and uh, Chris Daltrey and Chris Webby and like different posters and random things. But we're gonna dress this all up eventually and uh, have a nice little office here. But uh, just wanted to sit back and talk about the plans for 2024. But first, I just wanted to thank you guys. Um, it was a great year, great year for the channel. We uh, we kicked off the year with uh, racing line, flying down to Virginia, tuning the car on the dyno. I mean, that was such a kick-ass moment for me and the channel, like beyond excited. And I'm still like in shock that that even happened. Racing line is the shit, I love them. Um, I still wish they, they want to do an E85 file, but they don't have a, a way to log with their app. I would love to help them with that. But uh, you guys know, we actually are sponsored by EQT, so we're gonna stick with their stuff in the long run, but um, Racing Line would be a sponsor I would love to pick up too. And especially, you know, their brakes and uh, their coilovers and they, they have all types of cool stuff. They even got wheels. Um, I think we're gonna look at getting their rear end links this year since my rear end links need swapped out. Um, they're just beat up from six years of abuse, but and we move on to Zero Three Four, uh, Racing Line sister company. We tuned around with them. Uh, stage one, stage two, ninety three, eighty five. Um, we still run their TCU file to this day. Uh, what more could you want? I mean, teamed up with Zero Three Four. I mean, I got pretty much my my three favorite companies this year. Um, I was able to work with in some type of sponsoring way. And you got Verkline. Uh, they're just awesome. Their parts are awesome. We didn't do anything cool with them, but. Uh, we love their parts. We love them a lot. Uh, what else? Uh, to end the year here, or start the year rather, we got uh, the Asian Garage, the DCC deletes you guys will see in the next uh, couple videos next week. Uh, we actually have a giveaway and our first, like, okay, I guess not our first, our second EQT, we had a discount code, which they discontinued, but we do have a discount code with uh, TAG tag, uh, the Asian Garage. So that's really freaking neat. And uh, what else did we do this year? All types of things. Uh, of course, of course, cannot forget it's not stock. Uh, they're not, I wouldn't, I guess they are a sponsor. They are technically a sponsor. Um, you know, I buy all my parts from them. Any part that I don't get directly from a company to do a sponsored video comes from it's not stock. So shout out to Sean and make sure you go and buy your parts there because Sean is the man who will hook you up. The shipping's fast as you could possibly ever want it. And uh, he's an all ground great dude. If he doesn't have it on your site, on his site rather, um, he'll help you find it, get you some deals, whatever. Customer service is great. You cannot, um, I cannot, literally cannot go wrong with shopping with it's not stock. Anyway, let's get to the meat and potatoes video. What we're gonna be doing this year, hopefully, I don't know if all these things are gonna happen in this order, but we already got the coilovers on. And we have an alignment coming up Saturday. That's why that video is not out this week. Because I want the car to get aligned to get a real, um, give you guys a real first review of the coilovers. Right now, my rear toe is so off on the highway. Like the, the back end's like, my steering wheel's straight and the back end's like wobbling. Traction control's kicking on. And it's, a, it's kind of a sketchy time. <laughs> Especially in the wet with 200 headboard tires. Now we got those. Um, we're doing some fuel system stuff here very soon. We got... Uh, Brakes are pretty much the next thing. We're gonna do custom fuel lines and this. Sorry, I'm a little stuffed up. Um, we got this E85 th flow through sensor from Motion Race, 
Motion Raceworks. Always gets me tongue tied for some reason. Um, we got that getting the toss lines that we customize, and eventually we'll get MPI, which Cobb supports it, and EQT comes out with it um, for the Gen 4s. We don't know if the wiring harness is any different between um, generations, Gen 3 and Gen 4. But uh, brakes will be the next big thing. I don't know what I want to do in terms of brakes. We already have 034 stainless steel brake lines that Kalen got me last year for Christmas. They've just been sitting. Uh, 034 has brake rotor kits. They're bigger rotors front and rear, and they come with uh, caliper carriers that are larger to accommodate that, all the while still shaving weight. But what I really want is the racing line BBK. The um, calipers are just so freaking sick looking. Like I really want that. And they have rotors for the rear to match those. Um, and the pads will probably go with, uh, dang it, what are they called? I forget the name of the pads now, but um, pads will probably be the same no matter what brake setup we go with. I just need to figure out what brakes I want to go with. I want to shave as much weight as possible without breaking the bank and do front and rear rotors, front and rear lines, front and rear pads, and obviously a fluid flush with high temp fluid. Um, well, the most weight would be saved in the caliper itself. If we were to swap that out, we could get a caliper that isn't just two pistons from one side. These brakes are great though. They're not bad at all. I have no complaints. It's just almost time. Like my brake pads are getting down to like nothing. So um, if you pads, might as well do rotors, no rotors and you have the money, might as well go ahead and go big and, and, and do the uh, calipers too. Wouldn't also mind going back to that Wilbud six pot um, BBK that I had, which would be a downsizing rotor, but even I'm sure these brakes are heavier. But on the Golf, I saved like 42 pounds on the front end, switching to those, which is massive. You could feel it right away. Like the acceleration from the smaller rotors and, and the weight on the suspension, all that weight was gone. And it braked really good. Like it was great. It was a great kit. I just, it would look real funny behind 18s. So if I went with those and I need to go with smaller wheels, which I do. And the goal this year is to get a second set of wheels and tires. Uh, lightweight wheels, dedicated drag racing tires, um, some real slicks, some probably DR2s is what we want to do. Um, yeah, I mean, that's a big three right there. Get the coilovers settled and deal, dealt with, boom. Fuel system, boom. Brakes, boom. And then wheels and tires. So I guess take three new things, but four things total. And then really just get the car dial in. Um, you know, we're making all these different changes over time. We're having to kind of relearn the car, talking autocross. Uh, right now, we just took all the camber out, but we're going to have to put that back in in a couple months. Um, we, we're doing this drag alignment thing right now to try and get this 10-second pass, and then we can put a little bit of camber back in. Don't want to go back to the negative 3.7 degrees that I had a couple weeks ago, but we'll, we'll take it to 2.5, 2 up front, and probably to 1.8, 1.7 ish in the rear and leave the toe like normal. Um, something that'll be a good mix between DD, autocross and drag racing. Um, but for now, we want the tires and camber zeroed out. Toe's gonna be, you know, a little bit of toe to keep the car stable at speed. But um, we're, we're going for the 10 second pass. That's my biggest goal of the year in terms of you know, racing, whatever. We want to get like 10.8, 10.7 would be great. Um, there's not really much else we can do for power. Besides, uh, this is a goal. But it's not something we have to buy per se. It's right here, it's right in front of our faces. I don't know if you guys remember, we have this 1,000 horsepower intercooler from DVD2 that we do need to order some stuff for. I want to get like the Plasma Man or Motion Race Works, whatever brand you prefer. There's five different brands out there to make the quick connect um, doodads for intercooler hoses and intake hoses, more well, I shouldn't say hoses, pipes, um, so that you won't have any boost leaks. I need to order those for this, but Plasma Man is the only one that makes a 2.75 clamp, I believe is the size, and they're in Australia. So we're gonna have to order those 
and then take all this and, and get the intercooler delete brackets from ECS. Take all this to the shop, which I think we're going to go to Respect Performance, have them either I'll install it and tow it down there because it's only right down the road and the trailer for it is like 20 bucks. Or we'll take it down there and install it. But we're just going to need some welding done with the pipes and putting those, uh, you know, those quick connects on. And then I don't know if I'm going to paint it or not, but I'd also like to make some type of ducting with aluminum, like weld aluminum to it. To on the like, if you're looking at me as the front of the car, the intercooler will have like these little, you know, shroud type things to help keep air coming into the intercooler and not around it. As much air as you can force into it and through it, the better it's going to be. And uh, yeah, so that's that's one of the things we want to do too. Especially we want to get this in before we hit summer here, before it gets you know back out. We haven't had a summer here yet. We got here in late August, but like the summer here is brutal. 118 degrees, you know, is not an uncommon day here in the summer. So we're gonna want this big fat freaking intercooler putting in some work if we're going out racing and hanging out and stuff uh, in the summer. So that's uh, that's our goals pretty much. Um, yeah, a little bit of fueling. Brakes, intercooler, what else did I say? I don't even remember now. But we're here. <laughs> we're having fun. And again, thank you guys for watching uh, all year. Uh, more and more Audi people are finding the channel as these S3s start to get a little bit more popular. And I uh, couldn't be any more happy. I made all these videos already. A lot of, um, when someone discovers the channel, they, they come and oh my God, dude, I found your channel. I just ran through, you know. 20 year videos dude i'm so glad and just the the comments i get from people saying that i helped them out and they were struggling or helped them make a a good decision on a buy that they don't regret just makes me feel really good and a lot of the comments um yeah, mostly everything that we all have feedback i get from you guys is positive and if you guys want to see more videos on specific things just let me know i am and i'm always up for constructive criticism as well if you if I'm doing things you don't like and don't want to see or whatever, let me know. And if there's things you want me to test or maybe buy and try, which I'm looking at the forge uh, divert valve right now or blow off valve right now, just something to try. Maybe put it on for a week or two. Probably will hate it. Then give it away. That's what happened with my Turbo Smart. But I'm tempted just to buy it, just to try it. You know, get a video out there, get my my thoughts. I'm sure the product's great. I just the boy racer racer type. You know, what's like. The, I don't know, but I am tempted. I do just want to kind of try it out for a week, but um, yeah, what else? I think that's all I got. Can't wait to get this room filled out and squared away. We're building some uh, rails in the garage this weekend to get rid of, you guys can't really see it, I don't think. I guess you kind of can. Did I zoom out on accident? Oops. How long have I been doing that for here? I'll zoom out all the way, and you can see all these boxes in here. We're making a rail system in the garage to, uh, store a lot of these so we're still going through and slowly unpacking things and you know christmas and everything it's just it's been hectic this room's kind of on the back burner but super excited to get this hood up maybe even paint it i don't know but uh we ran in one for 14 minutes straight awesome perfect uh well look out next week's video is going to be cool overs we got for that should be fuel system and on the 21st, we're going to a private rental drag strip a couple hours away, Pine by the Raceway. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully it doesn't get rained out. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully it does not get rained out. Because if I don't do a 10-second pass on the street before then, um, they're prepping the track that day. And we will do a 10-second run that day on the track. As long as it doesn't get canceled. So, <laughs> fingers crossed. Things to look forward to this month. And, uh, yeah. Give me some suggestions. Happy New Year. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the flip flop.